Hello, do you have a minute to sit and learn about the Catholic faith, about Jesus and his word, the scriptures, word of God, and to take five with Ellen Mongan? I'm Ellen Mongan from Wow Mom, and I have a few things to say to you today. On the last um, episode of Wow Mom, take five, I forgot what my son did, so I thought about it a minute. This is why I didn't know. He's really, really smart. He's a medical physicist. Well, there you go. You can look that one up. One time, I, one daughter, Kayla, wanted to be an actuary. And I said, hmm, I don't actually know what that is, but I'll look it up. It's always good to look things up. When I was a young mother, my mother-in-law had eight children. One passed away in heaven, but seven children close together. And she would always say, look it up in the dictionary. I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't have the time. You know, right now, we have a lot of time on our hands. We are given the time. See, my mother-in-law is way, way older than me. She had time. I had a lot to do. I had seven loads of laundry, not complaining. It was all joy. I had 101 carpools, and that was just in one week. I had things to do and places to go and people to see. I learned stories, and that's what I tell today, is the stories the Lord taught me along the way. I spent all my time in praising the Lord, reading his word, and teaching my children about Christ Jesus our Lord, about the Catholic faith. We troop on to Mass every morning. Yes, I'm AAA personality, and I had a lot to do and a lot of time to do it in. But now, we're on a staycation. I can look things up in the dictionary. I have the time. And I super love having this time on podcasts to talk to moms and the parents, man and woman, for a little minute about our Catholic faith. Today, I'm going to share about a faithless shelf, because you have the time. See, my friend, Judy Savosky, heard a word from the Lord one time when she was reading her scripture about the Old Testament about the Jews. How G G God said to them, I want you to remember what happened. Remember what I have done and to remember all that I've done. So when they go through hard times, they can remember. See, that was the reason he knew ahead of time. That wasn't the last time they go through the desert or that wasn't the last time they go through a trial. See, God knows all. He's all knowing, all seeing, and all good. That's why I say to people, well, I can't see your heart, but God's all-knowing. Do it for Jesus alone. So I made a faceless shelf because when I heard about Judy's, what she had done and how she had done it, I thought I have to have one of those as well. So what you do is you take a shelf. It could be a bookshelf. It could be a special shelf in your in one of your rooms. It could be, it's got to be large though because God is good. He does a lot of things. At least I want to say that. Some of you don't have eyes to see. But as soon as our eyes are open, we say, whoa. I can see the glory of the Lord and the goodness in each day. So you take a little item and you put it on the shelf to remind you of what the Lord has done for you. You know, oh, the Lord is good to me. And oh, I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. I mean, needed this vacation. So here we are. So on my faith in the shelf, next time I have Judy on the show on Wow Mom, not take five, I'll bring some of my things on my faith in the shelf and tell the stories. And if, if Judy would bring some too, so that will be soon coming up on Wow Mom. Because interviews are a big thing. Jane Ann Baumbrick is my co-host on Wow Mom. But on Take 5, I do it alone. I pray every day and then I tell you something that I think maybe you'd like to hear. A story or a scripture. Or maybe you'd like to hear a word of encouragement. This is my word of encouragement today. You have the time to do a faith in a shelf. Maybe you have a shelf in your house right now that's a bookshelf. You're not really using those books. And you can give those books away. Or maybe you found something new or, or thought of a new idea of how to place them there. If that is not feasible because of our, you know, no shopping, no leaving, just resting <laughs> kind of time out, then maybe take your journal, write down some ideas, then gather around the house, find the thing that you could put on the shelf to remind you of how good the Lord is and what he's done for you, just like the Israelites. I told you yesterday how they used to build an altar, the Lord. It's kind of like an altar. It's not you bow down like an altar, but it's a remembrance shelf. So right, make your faith in the shelf. You can read all about it in Catholic Mom. I believe it's also in the Augusta Chronicle. I wrote about the faith in the shelf. It kind of reminds of this story about the lepers. I know you know 10 unclean and nowhere to go. 10 men cleansed as clean as snow. But one returned, just one said thank you. Well, a faithless shelf stands in your home. And it's a way of saying thank you. In my other home, it stood right in the first room in our house, like a living room. And it was it stood there, and when people would walk in, it was my mentoring room where young mothers would come, and I talked to them about the Lord and parenting. 
And they would look at it, and I'd tell them all about what the Lord had done and how to follow Jesus in a deeper way. See, he's a personal God. He's personal to every person. <laughs> That's the thing. He's different to all but the same because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So build that faith on the shelf, or else sit down and think of the things you're going to put on it when you get to buy it. Because you know what? He's faithful even when we're not. Sometimes I repeat myself. It's not because I'm old. I am old. But it's because I want you to remember when we have to remember when, it fills in our heart gratefulness. We remember, oh, wow. We tell the story. It fills in our heart how much we are thankful. When Pat and I get together with people, a lot of times we'll ask them, what's their marriage story? How did they meet? They come alive. They're so grateful for their spouse. Or we say, how did you, what, tell us the story of your baby born. They get excited. They tell every detail, most of the women. But on this, it's telling how good God is. It makes your faith come alive. It says in the book, I think, Timothy, it says, when we get together, we stir the faith. So today, I hope you stir, I stirred yours really good. Make that faith on the shelf, write in your journal, and oh, remember, the Lord is good to us because he is. Truth, it is. God is good all the time. And